How's it going guys? We are back in another video here and I know I made a video kind of similar to this the other day but now I'm feeling like it's getting closer and I'm gonna tell you guys actually what cards to buy and all that good stuff. So hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and let's hop into it right now. So I was showing this video as well the last time in my video. So team of the season for the most part guys, very good chance that it's gonna be the next event after this event. Uh, so basically, uh, not, 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 not this event, but I mean the one that's coming out on Friday. So basically, I'm thinking Team of the Season will start on March 15th, okay? Because we'll have a two-week trade deadline event. That makes sense. The trade deadline's actually uh, on the 8th, I believe, of March. Or maybe the 10th. No, I think it's the 8th of, of March. So it's the 8th of March. And then you have that. So then you have your week two trade line. So then you'll have all the trades be done by then. And then by that next week, it'll be team of the season. Team of the season, I think, was four weeks last year. So let's just say uh, it starts on the 15th, goes to the 22nd. And that's the second week. Week three is the 29th. And week four it would be the 5th. And then you have the playoff event starting on April 12th because the playoffs, I believe, start pretty close to then. Not 100%, you know, right away then, but pretty close. So maybe they have like a little mini event before then. But. Uh, it, to me, it makes the most sense from a timeline perspective. Uh, but anyway, team of the season, guys. So what they did this year as well was weird. So they didn't release all the team of the season cards at once. So basically what they did, they released eight cards at a time. And then, and then so like on this Friday, for example, right? They released Friday eight team of the season cards. And then they released, I think, another eight on like Tuesday. But then these cards came out of packs. It was really bizarre. I, I wasn't really understanding why they did that the way they did. Or was it on Wednesday? One of the days that they took all the team of the season cards out. Odd, odd, odd choice. But that's what they did. Um, and then you have, um, you know, the objectives. So what I'm going to tell you guys is what cards to potentially invest in, all right? Like what what exact uh, overall should you be buying, right, in, in preparation? At this point, I would say start saving your cards, all right? Now, that's what I'm doing personally. Uh, I obviously, you know, I, I invested some uh, cards into some power up collectibles before, but that was just for, you know, a good cause for uh, one of my uh, X Factors. But uh, in general, guys, uh, it's a very important thing to try to save on to your, your cards now for the next two weeks, I would say. Um, then you have the actual sets. So here's how the sets work. I'm sure it'll be very, very similar this year, if not exactly the same here. So 35 gold players gives you only one team of the season collectible. 25, 80 plus it only gives you one. 20, 81 pluses only gives you one. 16, 82 pluses only gives you one. 483s only give you one. 384s gives you one. 285s only gives you one. 186 only gives you one. Believe it or not, guys, 187 only gives you two. So, I mean, even 188 gives you two. So basically, the point is, guys, it's going to be pretty expensive, all right? So you know what's going to be make, make this a lot easier for you guys, potentially? If you're able to have the master set versions of certain cards, okay? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, for example, if you have, you know, MSP, you know, I guess Rantanen is, is a possibility, right? You know, Rantanen, um say like uh Pedersen, right? Pedersen can get a team of the season. He probably will get a team of the season. You could trade in his max out elite MSP for the team of the season card at an extreme discount, all right? So, and you can obviously get the card that you exactly want because otherwise without the MSP, if the player that gets a team of the season card doesn't have an MSP, there will be no trade in for that specific player. You'll have to get lucky RNG and pull it in one of the sets. So that's also annoying. But as you can see, 95 huge, you only needed seven collectibles. So that's not that's not that bad in reality to get the card, right? Like you can pretty much you can live with that. Because at least you know you can like just what to get. And I believe that set stays there the whole year as well. Like there's no like there's there's no like this goes away, I'm pretty sure. This just stays here forever. Um same thing. So Beneers was a 93. So I guess you know, a good possibility of this. So like Beneers the 93 here. Pedersen's a 93 this year, so it might be 18 collectibles, for example. That's have the possibility, right? So we'll, we'll see if that's exactly, you know, the number it is, but I'm sure it'll be very similar. Their values really don't change from year to year in terms of cost. Everything kind of costs like, like fantasies, team of the years, you know, team of the seasons. They all cost it to make like a million, basically, for the most part. It's kind of how they view these cards. Uh, I, I, if you have a fantasy card, say, of a person that gets a team of the season, so like, I don't know, for example, maybe Nick Suzuki gets one or something, or 
I don't know, uh, Drew Doughty. I mean, you never know. Drew Doughty could definitely get a team of the season in theory. Uh, there would be a one-for-one, one-for-two, I guess, trade in, actually. So if you trade in their Evo card, 99 overall, you'll be able to actually come out with both of them. So you can use whatever one, depending on what abilities you prefer uh, on the card. So that's a good thing, at least right there. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if X-Factors... I don't think X-Factors are trade and eligible they might be though i'm not 100 percent certain they, they might be though let me just double check here yeah, i mean these are just msps but may, maybe x factors I, I might just be msps though so don't don't hold your breath on x factors um being a, you know eligible to be traded in for team of the seasons um but another thing is that like i said i mean you probably want to realistically have the MSPs of, of the players that are probably going to get Team of the Season. I'll probably use some predictions on Team of the Season players, actually, when it starts getting closer to, like, we'll say, like, a week away, right? I mean, just, just a guess uh, exactly then. But, yeah, for the most part, guys, I mean, Team of the Season's coming. It really is. Uh, three collectibles. Uh, 190 gives you three collectibles. And then 191 plus gives you four. So it's, uh, it's an expensive thing, guys. It really is. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not easy to actually end up... Uh, getting these cards. I mean, they, they cost quite a bit. Um, the actual sets here as well. So, 35 collectibles. 35 collectibles. So, I mean, it's it's expensive, guys. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, if you if you think about it, I mean, say you wanted to just trade in like 80 pluses, like that would uh, that would cost you a bit. It would cost you about 780 pluses <laughs> to do this set. So, I mean, it's uh. It's an expensive one. That's why I say start saving now if you actually want to partake in the team of the season uh, event. So 35 for a choice, and it's only a one of two. So you could end up getting, you know, two goalies or, you know, a lowest rated card and a goalie. It's it's really scary, honestly. That's why the MSP choices are usually the best, you know, way to go about it. But I know not everybody can, you know, get the MSPs, right? So it's, it's definitely a challenge, I understand. But... My, uh, my fair piece of advice is to start investing now. The specific overalls that I'd invest in probably would be like 88 plus, 89 plus, honestly, because I can't imagine like 87s or 86s have much value in terms of like, you know, you can have one collectible. I mean, it's it, it helps, don't get me wrong, but it's, uh, I mean, it's not bad, I guess, I have 87s. I mean, save all your cards, but I wouldn't go and buy like, you know, 50 86s, right? I'm saying I wouldn't probably do that. Um, cause right now, what are, what are 88s like, and what are 89s going for? I think that's, that's probably a good, uh, a good thing to see here. Like, what's the most expensive 88 overall version right now? So it's, it's a good amount of coins right now, guys. I mean, it really is. I mean, it, cards, they're, they're costing a decent amount. So 89 overall, I mean, they're going for at least, I mean, what's this, what are they saying? I mean, at least 60k, I think, right? So that's, it's a decent value right there. It's a decent value. Uh, for these cards right now and uh yeah they're going for almost basically 70k honestly so it's tough guys it's a tough one it really is i mean you, you probably want to start investing but i totally understand why you feel like uh, maybe you can't because it's an expensive cost it really is but team of the season it's coming but on uh, my uh my event prediction tonight uh video as well after uh this video all right guys thanks so much for watching this video hopefully you did enjoy it please make sure you leave a like Subscribe if you have not already, and follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at three E's, and be sure to join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.